Alright guys, hope you're having a great day. Um, I just did a video about how to tell the difference between Unlimited Revised 4th and 5th Edition. And uh, while doing that, I pretty much went through all of my lands. And I decided to pull out some that I just thought the art was so beautiful on. Um, so first off, I believe I just have uh, the Mirage set. I, I truly love the art of the Mirage set. So I just feel like, I don't know, just showing off the art because Magic the Gathering... A big part of it for me has always been the art. It's just so beautiful. Um, this is done by Tony Roberts. Um, I believe he also did uh, this one. It looks very similar. Also by Tony Roberts. Very interesting art. Let's just like take a little look at it. I'm not sure the medium he used for it. Like paint or pencil. But it's just... It's so... There's so much going on. It's, it's hard to even tell. It's very interesting and just lovely. Same with this one. You can definitely see a very busy scene. The leaves are just so small. Such great detail. Just lovely. Great art. Great art. And then this one is just very nice. You can see like a water buffalo. Just a nice sky background. Looks like a little birds resting on a stone. Some trees in the background. Very cool. And uh, you can see the artist's name right there. This is by Tom Wanderosten. I believe it's a... Uh, German or something I'm not quite sure and I believe he also did this one yes he did and I really like this one it's just like what is this like an ancient ruined city that looks like a face sort of on this rock and then there's just bird just landing on it and then very dark skies or is that the stars it's hard to tell I just thought this was a beautiful card and then these mountains are very beautiful it's very reminiscent of uh, I think like Mars rover pictures very red very rocky and just just beautiful and this is by uh, John Avon or Avon and uh, you can just see the the shade of blue covering it like uh, like it would in real life it's just beautiful the shadowing the details the very small details on the rocks I mean this art is just amazing again uh, some still mirage uh, this is by Douglas Schulter this is just a great picture the waves they are just just wonderful like I feel like these pictures back in the day, see 96, were like full canvas pictures that they like painted and then, then shrunk down. Now I just feel like they work on a smaller medium, probably all digital on like some uh, electronic pad with an electronic pencil, I bet. Beautiful picture, beautiful art, the mountain peaks, the shadowing, the clouds, it's just, just lovely. The swamps are what get me the most in this. Uh, it's just beautiful. Very green. Very green, lovely, what, I, what is this, two suns, two moons, I don't know. One of those nights where you can see the moon while the sun's up. Beautiful plants all fading into the background, just lovely. And uh, this, I believe all the swamps are done by the same artist, uh, Bob Eggleton. So respect to him, and this one is just beautiful. You can see that there's two creatures just hiding in there, giving you the eyes. And like, he makes these swamps look just wonderful the you can see the sunlight just dripping through amazing so much detail like the leaves are so small like on newer cards everything seems so s smoothed out there's not that many like r like rough edges and stuff but this is just so detailed it's just beautiful i love this and this is a swamp again but and it's also yeah bob eggleton and it's just it looks beautiful it looks almost like a like a, a forest or something but uh, you can see just some withered trees, beautiful sky, nice grass. It's hard to tell what medium he used. I'm not sure if it was paint, but it might be. It's hard to tell, but beautiful nonetheless. And this swamp is just stunning. Lovely sunset. Reflection on the water is done perfectly. Gotta love the mangroves. Beautiful. And you can see some creatures hidden in there. And then the old man's beard hanging from the tree. Just, just stunning. Uh, the next, I believe, I just have some... I have a Tempest. I just really like this one. Uh, this is done by Douglas Schulter. He might have been done one of the other ones. I just really like this tree, uh, the way it was rotting away. Uh, it looks very great. Uh, you can see the perspective looking up the tree. Love the angle. Just great. I do really enjoy this. And his signature is very cool. Looks like something you see spray painted on the side of a train car. Uh, then I got some of these. Uh, these are pretty interesting. These actually are two artists. Uh, this one is Scott Bailey, and this one is Edward P. Uh, Beard J Jr. But they look kind of similar with these silo sort of things. 
Uh, this is like a darker scene. It looks like uh, darkness is coming over the planes. These are planes. Got this beautiful, look how detailed that is. You can even like see the splits in the wood and these like small little huts or silos or something and some tree back there and looks like the earth is splitting. Beautiful, a little bit of sun over there, it's just lovely. And this one is, is just as good. Um, you can tell like these old, old buildings, it got some cracks in it, got some smaller ones down there and then this big old, don't even know what that is, but it just very beautiful landscape. The sky is done perfectly. Very cool. Um, this is one of the newer cards that I like, a uh, seventh edition. Um, there's not. I usually like the lands on the other one. This one is just just lovely too. Uh, look at the detail work and all the roots and trees. Uh, you can see like the bats or vampires or whatever flying over the moon. The beautiful clouds covering it and just the vines wrapping around. It's just lovely. Like they did a great job. The reflection on the water too is just just on point. And this is by Tony Cesarudo. I probably won't pronounce many of these names correctly, but um, full respect to the artists. They're just wonderful pieces of the work. Um, this one I thought was just beautiful. This is by Robert Alexander. I can probably say that one right. Look at the detailing on this rock and all this grass. It's just beautiful. And like these clouds, like I don't even know, like is this on a mountain or like there's clouds underneath it it looks like it's just so beautiful and the the colors they use to represent like the sun beating off the clouds is just like the blending he did is so superb and the shadowing it's just great like every single blade of grass was drawn on there it's just just respect just beautiful and then i have some odyssey um these I probably these ones are pretty good. They're pretty cool. I like them. Um, really like this. Uh, lots of color. You can kind of see maybe it's turning into fall. Some dead branches and stuff. Pretty detailed uh, in the background. But uh, yeah, very cool. You can see all the leaves and stuff. Lots of uh, twigs. Just many many layers. It's uh, the tree. The trees in the back. The green trees. Some hills in the back. And then some of the sky peeking through. Just lovely. Just great. And then the swamp is a pretty cool one too. Uh, you can see like a little hole in the tree, very foggy, some stuff poking out in the back. Just uh, the blades of grass are just very sharp, so like every single one must have been drawn. Very cool. And this one is done by Robert Alexander. This one was done by Jerry Trillii. Trillii? Sorry if I mispronounce your name. This one I really like. Um, this is done by Arnie Sweckle. This is Odyssey, some of my favorite land. Look at the reflection on that water. That is just honestly amazing. Look at the reflection on those leaves. That looks so realistic. That is so good. Respect so much. He makes it really look alive. It is just beautiful. Like, that is that tree being reflected. Perfect. So many just like sharp details. The reflection of sunlight off the leaves just. I uh, just I'm um, taken away from words. It's very cool. This one is done by Alan Pollock. Pollock, and I thought it was pretty cool. Just a darker theme, but uh, like some mangroves, the water's rippling around. You can just see layers of it. This one's alright. It's pretty cool. And then this one is by Tony Shazulo. Shazulo, and I thought this is just a beautiful landscape. You got uh, the water in the front, reflection. Uh, he signed his name. Pretty cool and just get a detail of all the trees you can see such small detail work like he had to have been doing this on like a huge canvas or something you can just see layers of the first mountain that mountain that mountain that mountain beautiful the color of the sky over it the beautiful sunlight reflecting up the clouds the very clear lake just wonderful now on to some ice age uh I, th I think I just pulled these ones out because this one is um, kind of the only one I could tell with the medium. You can definitely see the like actual like paint strokes in this one, which is very cool. Like you can you can tell it's like done by an artist. These are done by Douglas Schulter. Very cool. See like the brushes, uh, the old man's beard. You can just see like the brushes in the water. Very nice. Even like the reflection of it is just just superb. And especially with this one, you can see the brush strokes like in the grass. Very cool. Very good painting skills. Much respect.
Next uh, land uh, I pulled out, actually I have two more Ice Age. I pulled this one out just because I love the concept of this idea. It's just like you can see the changing seasons uh, from winter to like spring. You can just see this monarch butterfly floating over to the winter side. Beautiful. I just really like that. And this is done by Christopher Rush. Very cool. And Rush is a pretty good band. I like them. Yeah, lovely sky too. I just really like that. You can see the transition of uh, the weather and the beautiful little monarch. And you can see some migrating birds also in the background suggesting the change of season. Just, just beautiful. And this one too, just lovely sunset. Look at the detailing on the leaves. Just like unbelievable. Love it. Beautiful pink right there. Reflection of I believe a river. Just some grass. Very nice grass lines. The pine trees are so well done. The bark is just looks so nice and this is done by Pat Morrissey just just beautiful um, these are some of the newer lands uh, this is from Kamigawa I believe I just like these uh, just like this hot design but you can tell like everything it looks a little more smooth everything there's not as many like sharp lines and such fine detail like in the pine trees as in any of the newer lands it's all like a little bit smoothed out but I still like this just the the huts in the background and stuff, very beautiful. This is done by Jim Nelson. Then, uh, I forgot what set this is. This is Morden. These have some really cool art, I have to say. This one is by John Avon. Just lovely. You can tell there's like some sort of uh, gate up there. So people are living here. And this is some sort of like jungle structure. Not even sure. It's like Venus flytraps going on. Just crazy curves. Very imaginative imaginative uh lovely layers you can see the trees here the trees in the background colors there beautiful very cool this one as well for a plane just a very interesting take on it uh this is by martina uh pelisorva i believe and uh, it just looks like a metal planes and this was like an artifact <laughs> pretty much an artifact heavy set you can see like the sun maybe that's the reflection off this this looks metallic almost very interesting uh, some hexadecimal looking things here very cool just just a very interesting take on planes I love that and uh, this one is uh, done by Mark Tedden this is also a planes very interesting take got the the other the hexadecimal thing again very like lizard skin looking like very interesting almost looks robotic or artifacty yeah very cool interesting signature down there and yeah this this one has a uh, this set has a lot of detail in the art very cool just love it the clouds too just the depth in them very awesome uh these ones are pretty cool uh by mark tendon uh they just look like almost like a forgery or something like a forge not a forgery because like there looks like molten metals coming out or volcanic uh magma or lava i forgot which term is used correctly very nice detailing the shading is great you got some things in the background very good layering and yeah it's just overall very good art uh this one too very uh this is done by rob alexander um, it has a very like mechanical feel to it almost looks like a factory or something I can't tell if that's like a person there you see smoke coming out smoke going everywhere you got some sort of gates there some floating rocks over this like very intricate looking like artifact crazy heavy thing and just like a flow of maybe hot liquid metal or something very interesting and uh, I really like this island it's done by Rob Alexander he also did this one and it's just a very interesting take it looks very very alien very space like like metal protrusions like what is it, these power lines or something I have no idea you can just see them spanning across slowly into the background beautiful sky beautiful water just the waves look unbelievable lovely take on island just a lovely take on the island the next I have some what is this onslaught don't be upset if I'm <laughs> uncorrect with some of these uh, I believe this is uh, onslaught I'm not quite sure can't, I can't think right now uh, but this is beautiful it looks like little little houses uh, reminds me of that one a land card that uh, tap uh, tap a white and uh, tap give, give plus one plus one to a soldier 
Uh, looks like smoke's coming out. You can see in the background maybe another little village. Rocks, nice shadowing. You can see some roads. The sky is just beautiful. Lovely card by David Day. Another one by David Day. Um, where's the other red one? I guess not. But uh, very cool. I like this one. It's got like a whole... Like they're living in the mountains. Got uh, ladders. Like look at the detail on the ladders. Very beautiful. Got a nice background. But this is just so detailed and the shading underneath it is just beautiful. Lovely. It just uh, shows that they're like either living there and doing construction and yeah. I don't think you can see any people but yeah. Very cool. This one is such a colorful one by John Avon. Avon. Just look at this. Look at the depth. There's a uh, very vibrant blues, very beautiful, some yellows, some oranges, some greens, some whites. This is just this like very dense jungle canopy, lovely. Very cool layers, you got some very shadowed out figures in the very front, give you some perspective, and then uh, you got some blue there, and then some yellow, and some trees in the back, some other trees, and then just keeps on going. This is a very lovely uh, forest. Yes, it is. Just very lovely, truly. This one just as good uh, by John Avon again. He is very good at um, at detailing and um, at light and perspective. Like this just looks beautiful. Like the shadowing. I like how he, he adds darker to like the foreground. Like the dark uh, leaves and stuff there. Beautiful. And you can see like the sunlight glistening down. The shadowing on the ground is just superb. And yeah, just unbelievable. You can see like maybe smoke or something playing through there maybe sunbeams and just like the detail of all the twigs like like this took real time and this is just truly amazing this one's pretty cool it's by uh, Tony Sosludo I believe I've read that name before but I probably read it very wrong I just uh I like this tree I think it's pretty cool it's uh pretty detailed um it's not one of my favorite swamps but still very awesome and I thought I'd include it in here and you can see some sort of like uh some sort of house or some figure in the background. Very cool. Lovely. And this swamp is just like a classic by David Fraser. Uh, the red, uh, the pink of flower. The beautiful in the swamp. Very nice. Uh, taking up the left side and then the right side is a lot lighter. Nice balance between there. You got the sun or moon shining off the water. Beautiful reflections. And uh, the old man's beard on this tree just shaded in perfectly. Very cool. David Fraser, amazing. And this one is by Doug Chaffee. Um, this is also an amazing one. You can tell the foreground is all darkened out, but the detail is still all there. You got some of this, and then the next layer is like uh, these uh, reeds or something. And some more reeds, and the water reflection is just amazing. You can, it looks real in, in the waves. And then you got some like sort of mountains or some sort of structures or house and even some birds in the background like some of these cards are detailed so good like they had to have been made on huge canvases and just scaled down and somewhere I just think they stopped doing that and like just the amount of twigs and stuff there must have taken so long beautiful beautiful art the next I believe I have some portal second age yeah Quite a few actually. Okay. Ooh, and then I saw like my favorite planes ever. Uh, this is by Susan Von Camp. Are all the swamps by Susan Von Camp? I believe all the swamps are by Susan Von Camp. Just beautiful. Uh, it looks like uh, something like died there or something. I don't even know. It looks like something withered. It looks like an old ancient. Uh, Something with like trees growing out of it, the mangrove roots, just a lovely tree, lots and lots of lots of sticks in the background. So much detail work, nice reflection, very cool bark or whatever this is. I'm not sure if this is bones or not, very cool. Or maybe that's like a mouth, I have no idea, but I just love it and it adds a little more feel when you see like a building in the background. And uh, this is also like, she has buildings and stuff in the background and everything. This one uh, might be my favorite of hers. Um, got like a skeleton of some sort of animal that's just been bleached by the sun. Looks like you got some uh, Venus fly traps in the foreground. You got some beautiful trees with amazing shading holes in it. And in the background you can see like an old house that looks like it's 
broken and just nasty and like look how small those branches are just amazing and uh, it makes you wonder like how did this creature die did it just get stuck there did some of the plants eat it I don't know it's just interesting love it and there's like plants growing out of it even these plants over here just beautiful respect and again she uh in or he uh, I think it's a girl incorporates uh structures in the background which I just love it gives me more feel to the cards I feel just beautiful like marshlands it looks like the land kind of sunk the sunk it got some beautiful just leading up to this like almost dome like structure that's just decayed very beautiful nice art nice reflections beautiful sky uh some wonderful um all the all the planes are done by Fred Fields, which makes perfect sense. Um, lovely birds, lovely trail. Like this is beautiful. Look at look at the detail on the grass. Like every single strain of grass was drawn or painted or whatever medium he used, and that's just amazing. The water pools just add more depth to it, more feel, more character. The colors. There's even stones on the path. It's beautiful, different cut up and routes. You got birds migrating, got diff darker clouds, beautiful cloud line, beautiful cityscape or in the background. Just honestly beautiful, lovely colors, very vibrant. Uh, this one's very cool too, it's almost like a farmstead look. Just like a very mountainous background, very beautiful sky. Look at that, it looks so real. And you just got like two barns or something and you can see the sun's over here. Uh, you see all the shadows, very good shadowing, just great, beautiful, beautiful. This one is very cool too, an interesting, uh, almost like monolith looking thing, just like a tower, and yeah, pretty cool. Gotta say I like uh, the colors here, and uh, the shading just flawlessly flows, such detail. Uh, the forest, I believe, are all done by Quentin Hoover, and these are just just also stunning look at the bark detail on this thing and I also love this his theme uh, he incorporates like small tree huts I mean come on look at that detail that's just ridiculous like little tiny windows even got uh, <laughs> like come on it's just ridiculous the bar work is amazing looks like a little waterfall or something got some grass some paths look at the leaves so small just beautiful Beautiful, love the little tree house. Again, you got the tree house feel. Interesting uh, bark here. Very good bark work. It looks like a little gnome or an elf guy are standing there. It looks like maybe a little bridge over the river. Beautiful river flowing through. Bark work is amazing. Very nice depth and layers. Love the whole little house thing. Very cool. Yeah, very cool entrance. <laughs> Lovely. And uh, again, another one by him. Lovely skies. Just look at the sky through the canopy. It's amazing. And you can see a little bridge that I assume leads to a small little hut. Just, just the detail. It's just, just stunning. And um, this, I think, is by far my favorite planes. I'm just grab these. These are a bunch of invasion lands. Invasion has some great lands. Is that all? I believe the rest are just invasion lands. This might be my all-time favorite planes uh, by John Avon. Look at the sun. That that looks so radiant, so beautiful, just flowing off uh, the grain. That's just wonderful. I just think this is amazing. Just, I don't know, he, he does it so right. Just the reflection on each of them. Each of the each little fibers of them that are drawn just like fields and fields and just so beautiful, lovely. Uh, that was by John Avon. Uh, this is by Scott Bailey. Uh, this one is uh, interesting, almost like a Stonehenge looking thing. It looks like plows or fields. This looks like maybe a plow. Also looks like a forest fire or a fire in the field happened and it's burning it up. Got beautiful clouds in the background and quite an intricate mountain range too. Pretty detailed for the background. Lovely. Uh, so some of these uh, lands are my favorite. Uh, the swamps. By uh, Ron Spencer. Look at the detail work in this. So many like leaves. There's some like toadstools. 
Uh, it's like mangroves, beautiful, got some fog. Just got very beautiful, got the moon or something shining through, reflecting off the fog and stuff. Just very interesting, got very good weight to the picture, pretty heavy over here, lightens up, and then heavy, heavy, a little bit lighter here, very lovely, not sure if that's like a creature or not, it could be, but I'm not sure, and just the detailing and the roots on this is just, just on par, just beautiful. Again, he is, he's known for just like, look at these roots and like the bark work, it just looks alive, there's like moss and little hangers and everything looks like some what is that skeletons or something looks like something in the water is moving looks like some bubbles looks like some toadstools very interesting very foggy very mysterious very swamp like and you gotta love it uh the next i got a mountain by scott bailey and this one i just liked because it is so detailed the shading on this is ridiculous he pretty much shades it underneath every single little little ridge he does and the, the sunlight over here is very nice, very nice fade to darkness. Just the amount of, of work that must have been put into this was crazy. I really do wish wizards would uh, go back to like hand painting like on huge canvases. I'm not sure what they do, but just uh, compared to the newer art, I like the older art so much better. And this one is by uh, Matt Kovita. It's just a beautiful mountain range, snow tops. Uh, got lovely um, shadows, very intricate details, and uh, yeah, beautiful background, very cool. Uh, this is a lovely forest, forest uh, nope, these ones are different. Uh, this is by Glenn Angus, and I just think this one is fantastic. Uh, it looks like uh, there's a little tree out here, you can just see all the birds. Like, the only thing I can think is that it must have been such a huge canvas to be able to draw all those birds and creatures. It's just beautiful. There's layers and layers. You can see more walkways and pathways over there. Just beautiful trees. The background's amazing. Just lovely. Birds everywhere. Just a beautiful forest. This one was by Alan Pollock. Uh, this one I really like with the twisting bark. Look at the detail of the grain of that wood. It's just amazing. Just twisting around, very interesting. And in the background, you just see a huge tree, like the mother of all trees. Very interesting trees, like sprouting out from almost like knots or something. Just a lovely, got very nice depth. Uh, pretty heavy in the front, a little bit lighter, lighter. And in the background, it's just, it just fits in perfectly. Very good artist, very nice, very good shading. I like that. Then I got some islands by John uh, Avon. I believe I've seen some of his before. Uh, I really like this, the layering, you got some uh, like little islands in the foreground, some rocks, and then some huge like monolith rock in the background. You can see some like sea wind or breeze, some white tips on the waves, some like spikes there, and some sort of like clubs here that, who knows what they're used for, does that mean there's people on this island? Does that mean people used to be on this island? Did a war happen there? I don't know. Beautiful. Just beautiful. You can just feel the wind blowing through there. You can just imagine looking at that monstrous thing. And he does a great job of capturing that, truly. Uh, this is by Tony Scazzullo. Uh, I hope I say that right. It's an island. It's a beautiful island. just reminds me of like a remote island. Very cool. Nice palm trees. Lots of palm trees. Uh, the sky, exceptional. And yeah, the water is pretty nice. Lovely. Just like a little tropical island. Cool. And now uh, the last card that I have to show, I'm sure there's more that I, <laughs> I don't know, but uh, <laughs> yeah, is by uh, Tressia Nielsen. And um, just a very cool, it looks almost stormy up here. Looks like it might even be raining, maybe a little bit of lines, but I'm not sure there's not much disturbance on the water. And it's got lovely uh, palm trees and lots of like coral or something up there, shallow waters, beautiful rock cliffs, and just so much detail gotta love it all right guys this was just a little bit of a different video and uh i just wanted to, to give it like to just look at some of the beautiful art of magic the gathering because really that's a big aspect for me and i always love it and i hope you guys enjoyed watching this and i hope you guys have a great day take it easy